In today's video, we're going to talk about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We're going to go over all the latest news and rumors that have been floating around for the last week or so. So, yo, what is freaking good, YouTube? Wished you here with a video on the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel, Kaiju, Monsterverse, DC, pop culture based content that I try to cover on a daily basis. If you could subscribe to the channel, it really does help. Turn notifications on and comment down below for the algorithm and like the video. Also, if you could check us out on Twitter, WarshDuG or X.com, WarshDuG, it's the same website. I try to interact as much as I can. If you are respectful, always open for debate. And also, if you could check us out on Instagram at WarshDuG to see the beautiful face behind, the beautiful voice that's speaking into a sure SM7B microphone. So, now let's break it down. So it's worth saying, always with rumor territory, you've got to take it with a grain of salt or a pinch of salt. So the biggest news going around the Marvel community at the moment is that an actor has been offered a role to play Doctor Doom. Josh Hartnett, who is a very good actor. He recently appeared in this year's biggest movie in terms of how great it was. He recently appeared in Oppenheimer. He's, he's been in a bunch of stuff. He's been in Black Mirror. He's been in She's Missing. He's been in Paradise Lost. But he's mostly known for Lucky Number 11, 30 Days of Night, Black Court Down, and The Faculty. But most likely he's known for Oppenheimer now. Should he be Doctor Doom? I honestly think Killian Murphy would be a much better a much stronger actor. Doctor Doom has such an influential part in the origin of the Fantastic Four. He has such a huge history with Secret Wars. Doctor Doom is neither good or bad. He would do good to help him. He would do bad to help him. He would do anything. So I'm not discrediting Josh Hartnett, but I think Killian Murphy would be much better. So he was reportedly offered the role of Doctor Doom prior to the Sarg strike. Everyone was offered roles prior to the Sarg strike. Your boy Wash Stu was offered a role, but I can't, actually I'm not part of Sarg, so I can talk about it. Wait, I'm joking. So we know Doctor Doom is not apparently supposed to be in Fantastic Four movie in a big capacity because based on the rumors and they're from reliable sources, most of the Fantastic Four movie is gonna be set in the past. Kang will have a big presence not necessarily in there. It's going to involve the quantum realm. And it will, in a roundabout, be a very close link to Ant-Man 3. So in terms of what was said, he's supposed to have an introduction scene or a post credit scene, or he's just introduced. We know it. Marvel Comics never follows the comic books when it comes to their interpretation. On the big screen, or else Adam Warlock would have had a huge part to play in the Infinity War. But what we do know is if they are doing secret wars right then the fantastic four doctor doom and literally every single character that's ever been introduced has to appear so there is many different interpretations of secret wars but the premise is the secret wars was a groundbreaking miniseries from marvel that brought all the earth's mightiest heroes from the 616 together to battle the worst villains ever under the watchful eye of the Beyonder. And this is why I think that Secret Wars can't be ready until like 2030, because they haven't even introduced all these characters. You need people like Kang. Obviously, Kang's been in introduced. You need Galactus. You need Doctor Doom. You need Molecule Man. You need Ultron back. You need a, a Trancis. You need a version of Wolverine. You need the Fantastic Four. You need Spider-Man. You need Magneto. You need literally every single character that is ever appeared. Now, how are they going to change the storyline when it comes to Secret Wars based on the comics? We don't know, but Galactus is supposed to appear in the Fantastic Four movie, although he's not supposed to be the main villain. The problem with information going around on the internet is it seems to be who's got the most followers on X.com seems to have validity. But when it comes to these scoopers and insiders, they're all about as good as each other. So I really don't think the insiders are credible at all, but it's always worth going over what is said. So we know Kang will be the big bad overall. Nothing is changing. He's going to appear in Loki season two as Victor Timely. It's just what's going to happen with 
Doctor Doom in Secret Wars. I don't think there's any point adding Doctor Doom to Kang's Dynasty because it's literally called Kang's Dynasty. So we do want a Doctor Doom, but your boy washed you once Killian Murphy. Respectfully, Josh Hartnett, you slayed your role in Oppenheimer, but we want Killian Murphy. So, also in the news, we recently got a featurette for the Marvels. Now, the Marvels has been edited heavily because now it's one of Marvel's shortest movies ever, being, I'm paraphrasing, being under an hour 40 minutes, which is short, but it's not ridiculously short. They've gotten rid of a lot of the fluff material. So, I no point saying careful spoilers because it's your boy Wall Street. Is apparently they've got rid of a lot of the musical scenes because there is a planet that Cara Danvers is technically the princess of and they speak via music and it seems like the test screening didn't go great. So it seems whatever they've taken out, because it was supposed to be around two hours, they've got rid of a lot of stuff in order to make it shorter, which in theory means you can get more people in the cinema, in the theatres faster. Also, Dune's been delayed till next year, till March. So it hasn't really got much competition. Marvel recently put Miss Marvel on a television network and it flopped again. This featurette, is really trying to get you to like Miss Marvel, really trying to get you to like Monica, who is supposed to be Photon, but some of the other scoopers are like, no, that's not happening. It looks like she will be Photon. It's really a featurette to get you to like these characters much more. But there were some cool shots within said featurette. It wasn't really anyone doing a trailer breakdown. It wasn't a trailer. There wasn't enough to justify a breakdown, in my opinion. But we did get a cool shot of Goose riding Cara Danvers. So, according to our good friend, the Geeky Cast, he posted a few things that happened to make the Marvel Spoilers subreddit. Incursion Wall equals the Marvel. Interesting. And he's backed it up with some claims and some images. Apparently, there is supposed to be an incursion that will happen in the Marvel's movie. Because they've got to be incursions, right? We had at the end of Doctor Strange 2, we had Clear going, oh, the incursions are happening. So the multiverse needs to die to set up secret wars. So here's some images on Twitter. Here's how the incursion happens. Now, we know in the plot leak, she's trying to harvest resources from places to set her planet back to normal. And allegedly, this is going to cause an incursion, which does make a lot of sense. Whether they are incursion walls is a different story. There is an image here I overlay from the Geeky Cast Twitter account. And here's the incursion wall. We can't confirm or deny, but it definitely looks like something that could take you to a different place, maybe. And we know the alleged plot leak does say the end of the movie, Monica is going to end up in a different place and she's going to get stuck there. It's really interesting how in this most recent featurette, they ask her about the bangles and she says, oh, my grandmother gave it to me because we know the bangles are supposed to be very important overall and it's supposed to somehow combine with Shang-Chi's 10 rings. There were a lot of theories going around about how in Ant-Man 3 because there was a shot that looked very similar to the bangles and the 10 rings that Kang needed them, but he didn't need them, but he might need them later on. They are very powerful ancient artifacts there's going to be a big power play with the Ten Rings and with the Bangles. So I think what Geeky Cast is saying is the Incursion Walls equals Marvel's movie. It is bang on. Don't worry about Victor Timely. He is really he who remains or will become he who remains. There's a really cool gif I put over screen now. So yeah, Jonathan Majors is not getting cut. I know there's a massive court case, but person <laughs> I shouldn't really laugh. The person that accused him literally fled the country so the court case got delayed which doesn't look good at all so that's most of the information going around the marvel community as we know marvel and disney are hemorrhaging money they're losing money they're putting too much content out that people don't want so last night a bunch of stuff got delayed and i was like yeah the only things on this list should come out should be loki should be daredevil born again and scrap the rest pretty much so they've delayed What If Season 2 to Christmas. No one cares. They've delayed Echo to next year. No one cares. They've delayed X-Men 97 to early next year. No one cares. Agatha, late 2024. No one cares. Ironheart delayed even though it's being filmed. Wonder Man, no one cares. Daredevil Born again. 
Everybody cares because that is going to be cool as long as the continuity is the same as the Netflix series. So too much content. And this makes you realize how much content they are putting on Disney Plus because nobody cares about these projects except for Loki season two, Daredevil, and maybe Agatha because the name is supposed to be changing to something that lines up with the Dark Hold. And if it has ties to the Dark Hold, then I guess more people would care. All Marvel needs to do is make you freaking care. And then people will watch stuff. So there is a post going around, even though Ironheart has finished, nobody cares. It was set to film in the full. Why? Because his Twitter scoop is wrong. It's been taken off the Marvel schedule. Sources say this is to bring it closer to Armor Wars release. I've been told Marvel wants to go full steam ahead with Armor Wars production. No one cares for these little programs. Nobody cares. Look at the ratings. They're so bad. So apparently Covenant of Chaos has now been changed to Dark Hole Diaries. And let's hope it has some correlation to Doctor Strange 2 and also to Wanda Maximoff show being WandaVision. Marvel just chuck everything except for Dark Hole Diaries, Loki Season 2, and also Daredevil. I know someone at Marvel watches me because I've got contacts in Marvel, so I literally know you watch me. So, and a lot of other people are saying, Marvel, get rid of the fluff. Everyone wants to teleport straight to Secret Wars. You can't do that because the continuity, the incursions, they haven't really introduced a lot of the characters that are needed for Secret Wars, but Marvel can become great again. Just get Bob Iger away from Marvel. Stop telling Kevin Feige what to do. As long as we get Kevin Feige back in control, Bob Iger, go away. And then maybe Marvel can be great again. So let me know, do you agree? Should Killian Murphy actually become Doctor Doom and not Josh Hartness? Although he's a fine actor, I think Killian will be much better. Although he said he'd do anything as long as the script is great. It's all about the script. So that tells us that the script probably ain't great because Killian hasn't confirmed or said anything he said he'd read the script for anything so like always guys check us out on instagram at watch you to see the beautiful face button be wise check us out on twitter watch you g and i will catch you in another video very soon catch you later